Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The tricky clock tick tocking, each painfully long minute unlocking. The tumbly jumbly can't close your eyes feeling. What will it be? When will it be? Oh, the anticipation, the watching, the wishing and waiting to let the wiggles and giggles and goosebumps go. To find, to see, to finally know. What will it be? When will it be? Oh, the expectation, the what-ifs, the oh my's fairly shaking, longing for this night's joy all year, that moment of hope so very near. Oh, but would they, could they, imagine a gift so great, a gift that compelled the whole world to wait? When a heavenly father gave all mankind his son, the one, Love defined. The magic of Christmas is more brilliant, you see, than a bag or a box tucked under a tree. The true love of Christmas really began when holy God became holy man. Joseph, it's time. He's here. The girl who asked for too much. So, there was a girl who wanted so much for Christmas, but one year it got too much for the tree. Melvin, the tree, was uncomfortable. He decided to do something about it. In the middle of the night, he hopped up the stairs and went into Melanie's bedroom. While she was sleeping, Melvin reminded her of baby Jesus and that Christmas isn't all about the presents. The next day, Mel dragged their parents outside to give to those less fortunate. They gave, and gave, and gave, and gave. Melvin was pleased with himself, and the family always had a merry Christmas. The end. Hi, I'm Ali and I head up the Children and Youth at Hope Church and I am absolutely delighted today to welcome you to our Nativity service. The Children of Hope have put together called It's a Miracle and I just want to say how proud we are of them all for all the effort they put into learning their lines and during the recording. And before we start that, I'd just like to introduce a beautiful song written by the lovely Holly called It's All About You. I hope you enjoy and happy Christmas. Wishing for snow to fall down. And I can just see everyone rushing around. They think Christmas has to be perfect to be worth it. Putting lights upon the tree. That's not Christmas to me Hanging our stockings above the fireplace Leaving our milk and cookies for the reindeer Well Santa's not the reason that I smile For there's so much more to Christmas that makes it worth for Christmas is different this year But what I will still remember Beneath this worldly cheer Is that you were born this day Sweetly in a manger land Give out different prayers 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. A plan is about to be put into action. God is very excited. He's sending a gift down to earth. A miracle is underway. How exciting! I just knew something amazing was going to happen. We've got work to do. A plan to put into action. What is the gift that God's sending down to earth? I believe it's himself. How on earth is he going to do that? It can't be true. He's going to earth as a baby. Wow. wow. Okay, Gabriel, this first task is for you. You need to let a young girl called Mary know that she has been chosen to be the mother of God's son. It might come as a bit of a surprise. I hope I don't frighten her. I'm sure you won't. It's so exciting. I'm on the edge of my seat. Can you believe it's true? There's nothing like it. It sounds amazing to me. Can't wait to see what he's going to do.
and did an angel actually come and visit me? It did happen. I can still hear his voice inside my head. Oh my goodness, I can't believe a miracle is happening to someone as ordinary as me. He's God's saviour is. Yes, we'll bring him into love. We'll follow in the star. See you soon. Bye. Woo woo! Full steam to Bethlehem.
shattered. Who would have thought that organising a miracle would be so tiring? It's worth it though. God born as a baby. Just amazing. I just think everyone will be able to find out what God is really like. By watching Jesus like father, like son. I hope they realise just how amazing this is. Look, 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 baby Jesus has been safe, safely delivered. Miracle achieved. Hooray! I think he has a nose, Mary. Oh dear, but whatever he looks like on the outside, we know who he will be on the inside. I can't believe we get to be part of this story. No, this is no ordinary story. Show everybody.
everyone, come on in. this old stable again and to think I nearly turned you away. None of that matters now, we're all here together. Yes, but I've broken this beautiful baby boy. A new season, God has arrived on earth, the adventure begins. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of the children who participated in our nativity. They did an amazing job, didn't they? And a massive thank you to their parents who helped them learn everything. And of course, to our media team who have done such good work putting this all together. And I'd just like us to take a few moments to reflect on all that we have seen and heard this Christmas Eve. Now, I don't know about you, but I love Christmas. I love the wonder and the joy that this time of year brings, and we see it especially in the eyes and smiles of children. So let's allow ourselves, like them, to be filled with wonder and joy at this miracle again. Our nativity was called It's a Miracle because it is a miracle, the miracle of Jesus' birth. And it's remarkable, isn't it, that God himself would come and humble himself and be born as a little baby. And he is the king of kings. He could have come and been born in a palace, but he wasn't, was he? He was born in a stable. He was born to a poor family 
in a little tiny village in a tiny little room filled with lots of animals. And I'd like to read you a little bit from the Jesus Storybook Bible. It says this, This child was a new kind of king. Though he was the prince of heaven, he had become poor. Though he was the mighty God, he had become a helpless baby. This king hadn't come to be the boss. He had come to be a servant. And why would God do this? The answer is found in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the answer is love. And in the Bible, we're told that God is love. And there's this wonderful lyric in that last song that the children sang together, and it says, love has come to live with us today. And that's exactly what happened on the first Christmas. Jesus, love, came and was born for us, for you and for me. And one of the names for Jesus is Emmanuel, which means God with us. And in our reading, which was also from John, from the beginning of John, um, verse 18 says this, No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. So Jesus makes God known to us. And there's this wonderful line that the angels had towards the end of our nativity. They said this, just think. Everyone will be able to find out what God is like by watching Jesus, like Father, like Son. Emmanuel, God with us. The Word became flesh. Jesus came down as a baby, was born as a human being. He identified himself with you and for me, with you and me. And he did it because he loves you and he loves me. He loved the whole world. And this miracle is for the whole world. It's for everyone, everywhere, of all time. Jesus has come close to us so that we could come close to him. So come, let us adore him afresh this Christmas.
for joining us. Goodbye, Bye. and have, have a happy Christmas. Christmas.